simplify the cube root of 125 x to the sixth y to the third power. So taking the cube root of something is the same thing as raising that something to the 1 third power. So this is equal to 125 x to the sixth y to the third power raised to the 1 third power. And if we take the product of a bunch of stuff and raise that to the 1 third power, that's the same thing as individually raising each of the things to the 1 third power and then taking the product. So this is going to be equal to 125 to the 1 third power times times x to the sixth to the 1 third power times y to the third to the 1 third power. And then we can think about how we can simplify each of these. 1 25th, what's 125 to the 1 third? Well, let's just factor it and see if we can have at least three prime factors of something and maybe, and maybe more than one prime factor that shows up three times. So 20, 125 is 5 times 25. 25 is 5 times 5. So 125 really is 5 times 5 times 5. So if you multiply 5 times itself, Three times you get 125, or 20, 125 to the one third power is going to be is going to be five. So this is going to simplify to five times, and then x to the sixth to the one third power. We saw this in a previous example. If you raise a base to an exponent and then raise that whole thing to another exponent, you can take the product of the two exponents. So six times one third is six thirds, or two. So this part right over here simplifies to x to the 6 divided by 3 power, or x squared. x squared. And then finally, over here, same principle, raising y to the third power, and then that to the 1 third power. So that's going to be y to the 3 times 1 third power, or y to the first power, and then times y. And we are done. And if you don't want to write this little multiplication here, you can just write this as 5x squared, 5x squared, 5x squared y. And we have simplified.